Alrighty, and here we are with the drag the drag car, the drag rustler, not a drag slash. This is a drag rustler. Now this car is actually older than most of my fleet. It's my second is my second official hobby grade RC. It's the green and blue Traxxas Rustler that was featured on this channel way back when. And has just been transformed into a drag car. No prep dragster. So this is the custom body I painted, as you can see. RC Racer YouTube right there. I put this cool flame design on it. And this flame isn't um a sticker. It's actually it's painted. Like it's painted. You can kind of see a little bit of underspray on with the black, but yeah. That is the Super J Proline body, which they sadly Proline discontinued. So I'm kind of keeping this as a shelf queen. Actual running body is right there. But yeah. As you can see, the running body is identical because I just love the black with the red flame. So anyway, I'll show you some modifications I did to it. Alrighty, so here we are under the hood. As you can see, it's the Traxxas Rustler chassis. The same chassis from 2019. But with this giant metal plate extension, I got this on Amazon. I was able to find it, a little off-brand part. I don't think they're that popular, but it looked like it fit, and it fit. So yeah. And here is the gearing. I'm rocking a 70, 75, 72 tooth spur gear with, I think, a 31 tooth pinion, which has gotten us a top speed of 74 miles per hour on a 3S LiPo. So yeah, this is my fastest car that I've ever built. I got this long wheelie bar on the back for launches. This is the upgraded aluminum Traxxas one too. And we are rocking some Proline Hoosiers, some Proline Drag Slicks, which so far I I love on the front and the rear. So yeah, there's a little wobble in that one. I'm going to have to try to fix that, but that's fine. But yeah, only issue with this car is that I can't really fit a motor fan because of the transmission box. I'm going to have to troubleshoot that sometime, but I'm not really sure. And I also use the Proline um, screw down body body posts these things that screw down onto the body like so just prevent the body from really shifting and moving around a lot at high speed but the long-term goal for this car is to hopefully break a hundred I am still figuring out on how to do that I think I still have to figure out change the gears this used to be a 76 but now it's a 72 and that's what we were rocking that day but yeah these tires are actually new. In the video you saw, that you're about to see, or you've already saw, um, I was running the stock Traxxas, well not the stock, I got them for this truck. The stock tires are the alias tires. But I was running the Traxxas MT, MT? Yeah, MT, Mickey Thompson tires, that come stock on the drag slash. But yeah. These tires, when I last took it out, felt pretty good. So yeah, all in all, a great, 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 great run. I think today we hit a top speed of 74 miles an hour, which is kind of the top speed I was like, bet I've been hitting for the past year or so. Now I wanna try to go faster. So I think, I do have a bigger pinion I might try to fit on for next time, but the Spurgy, I can't really find any smaller ones. Hopefully I can find some smaller ones, but yeah. This is mainly the setup for the speed car that I've got. We got some aluminum links there too. We've got some are those RPM. No, they're not RPM. Those are the Traxxas HD heavy duty suspension arms that I've got there. I've also got the HD drive shafts. More aluminum links in the back. I do have the RPM shock towers with the Proline mounts, as you can see right there. Proline mounts there too. And for some reason, I kept the stock shocks. I don't know why. I should probably upgrade those. But yeah, this is the Drag Rustler. And can you shut up? Anyway, this is the Drag Rustler. I'm going to have to end this little review early because that thing turned on and I can't really turn it off. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully we can break 80 on the next video.